All right, Chapter 5, Transformers. Learning of objections. Blank belief you love this chapter, you'll be able to save the meaning of the Transformer action. The state of physical characteristics of the Transformer include the basic parts, the common core materials, main core type, the design. State the names given the source of load windings of the transformer. The state the difference in construction between high and low voltage transformers. Um, identify the transformer symbol, the type of the transformer. Each symbol of represents the method of the use to denote the transformer phasing. State um, the meaning of the no load condition, exciting current relative to the transformer. State the cover of the develop, um, voltage to develop across the secondary of the transformer. The effect of the, of the counter force EM as force on the in a transformer, say the meaning of the leakage flux and the effect of the coefficient over the coupling. Identify the transformer setup at the step, the step up and step down state of the current ratio of the transformer when given the turns of ratio. Solve the primary voltage, secondary voltage, primary current, and number of turns in the secondary given the various transformer values. Some the same state the mathematical relations between the power and primary power, power and effect uh, in the secondary of the transformer compute efficiency of the transformer. Say the three power losses in the transformer. Say the reason for the transformer should be um, op not operated in low frequency. Then specify for the transformer. Then the five different types of transformers according to their applications. Say the standard color code of the power transformer. And say the general safety precautions you can deserve while when making when working with the transformer and other electrical components. Transformers. The information within this chapter of the is on the construction theory of operation. Various use of the transformer and safety precautions to be observed by the person walking and working on the transformers are discussed. A transformer is a device that transfers electrical energy from one circuit to another. Electromagnetic and induction transformer action. Electrical energy is always transferred without changing the frequency. Um, by inv may involve the change of the magnitude of voltage and current. Because of the transformer work with the principal electromagnetic induction, it must be either the input source of voltage that varies in amplitude. The many type of the power that fit the description links for the example. Explanation understanding transformer action will be explained in the AC voltage input ser series. In preceding chapter, you have learned the alternating current has um, certain advantages over the direct current. One, um, one, of, one of the important advantages is if the AC used in the voltage and current level that can be increased or decreased meaning of the by means of the transformer. As you know, the amount of power used by the load of electrical circuits is equal to the current of the load times the voltage um, across the load. Power is equal to the um, voltage over the amps, or the, if, in, for example, um, vol sorry, power is equal to the voltage times the amps. For example, the load of the electrical circuit required the input of two amps and at 10 volts you get 20 watts. Since it's capable of delivering one amp at 20 volts, the circuit can now normally be with a particular source. However, the transformer is connected with the, between the source of the load of the voltage can be decreased as in step down to 10 volts and current increases the step up to 2 amps. Notice that in the above cave, the power remains the same about the 20, volt, 20 volts times 1 amper equal to the same power of 10 volts times 2 amperes. Basic operation of the transformer it is most uh, is not is in its most basic form uh, form of the transformer consists of the primary coil, the winding, and secondary coil, the winding and core that supports the coil. The windings refer to the transformer circle the figure five one with the reading with the following explanation: Primary winding is connected to 60 hertz AC voltage source of the magnetic field flux and builds up, expands and collapses, contracts. About primary um, winding, the exam expanding and contracting magnetic field. Um, uh, Around the primary winding cuts the secondary winding, inducing the alternating voltage into the winding. This voltage causes the alternating current to flow through the load. The voltage may be stepped up and down to begin the design of the primary secondary windings. Show the figure 5 1 show the basic transformer action. Um, notice that the symbols um, primary and, and secondary, 60 hertz and load. All right, the component of the transformer, the two coils of the wire, the coils, the um, two coils of wire are called windings. They are wound on some type of the core, core material. In most cases, the coils are wire wound with a cylindrical rectangular cardboard form. In the effect of the core material in the area of the transformer is called the air core transformer. Transformers used with low frequency, such as 60 hertz and 400 hertz, require a core of low reactance magnetic material, usually iron. This type of the transformer is called an iron core transformer. Most power transformers are iron core type. The um, principal parts of the transformer these functions are the core and provide the path of the magnetic lines of flux. The primary winding receives the energy from the AC source. Secondary winding receives energy from the primary winding delivering to the load enclosure, which protects the above of the component with the dirt and moisture and mechanical damage. Core, core characteristics. Or the composition of the transformer co um, core depends upon such factors as voltage, current, and frequency side, but the limitation of construction cause also a factor to be considered commonly even the core of the um, materials of the air and soft iron steel. The each of the materials suitable, particular applications unsuitable for the others. General air core transformers are used with the voltage source for the high frequencies above 20 kilohertz. Iron core transformers are used with a source of frequency below 20 kilohertz. This um, kilohertz. 
Soft iron core transformers usually um, where transformers may be physically small and yet efficient to the iron core transformer provides better power. Transformative of the air core transformer, the transformer where core core on the whole ho hose the whose core is constructed with a laminated sheet of the seal dissipated with the heat ri ri readily. The provide with the efficient transformer, the power of the power transformer will encounter the navy. The equipment containing the laminated steel cores, steel laminations, figure five two, see figure 5-2, insulated with the non-conducting material set, which is varnished, formed um, into a course. Uh, it takes about 50 such laminations to make the core an inch thick. For the purpose of the lamination, to reduce the certain loss, for which is discussed later in this chapter, an important point to um, remember is the most efficient transformer core is one that offers the best path of the most lines of flux, which leaves um, with least less of the magnetic electronic core. Laminated core, single lamination. Hollow core form transformer. The two main shapes of the cores are used the laminated steel tra tra core can transformers. One with the hollow core with the name with the core shape with the hollow square through the center. Figure 5-2 illustrates the shape of the core. Also, notice that the core is made up of the many laminations of the steel. Figure 5-3 illustrates how transformer windings are wrapped around both sides of the copper. So, um, windings wrapped around the laminations. Shell core transformer. The, po the most popular efficient transformer core is the shell core, as illustrated in Figure 5-4, as so it shows each of the floor uh, sh core exists between the volts and amp shaped section metal, but the sections are butted together oh, to form laminations. Laminations are installed for each other and pressed together. So you have your laminated core E and the laminations I um, for voltage and uh, I ampler lam laminations. All right, transformer windings. The stated of the transformer consists of the two um, coils called windings, which are wrapped around with the core of the transformer operates the source of the AC voltage connected to one of the windings. The load device is connected to the other winding. Is over the winding. The, the winding is connected to the source called the primary winding. The winding is con um, connected to the load, and the winding that is connected to the load is called the secondary winding. Note that in the chapter, the terms of primary winding, primary, even the interchangeable, the term secondary winding, secondary are also interchangeable. All right, figure 5.5 five shows the exploded view of the shell type transformer, the primary wound in layers directly on the car rectangular cardboard form. So you have an elamination cardboard form, insulated paper, also lamination. Um, the transformer uh, then shows the cutaway view with the figure 5.6 primary consists of the main term of the relatively small wire. The wire is coated with varnish each of the term of the winding insulated from each of the other term. The, if the transformer design high voltage application sheets of insulation material such as paper are placed between the layers of winding to prevent additional insulation. Second, um, figure 5.6 shows the cutaway view with the shell type core winding, secondary windings, um, primary windings, and also the leads and laminated core paper insulation. When primary winding is completely wound, the wrapped insulating paper of the, is wrapped in insulating paper or cloth. The secondary winding is, is then wound in the top of the primary winding. After the secondary winding is completely is to be covered with the insulating paper, next to the voltage and amp section of the iron core is inserted into and around the windings as shown. The leads and the windings are normally brought out with a hole to enclosure of the transformer. Sometimes the terminals may be provided with enclosure connections to the windings of the Figure show four leads to two primary, two um, for the second from the secondary, two from the primary, two from the secondary. These leads are connected to the source code load respectively. All right, schematic symbol for a transformer. Figure five seven um, typical shown schematic symbol for the transformer symbols over the air core transformer. Figure five seven A parts B and C shown the iron core transformer. The bars between the coils are used to indicate the iron core frequency. Additional. Um, connections are made with the transformer windings at the point of the other ending windings. The additional connections are called taps. A tap is connected to the center of the winding. It is called the center tap. Figure 5-7 shows the schematic representation center tap, the iron core transformers. Notice that the iron have the bars in between the air and the um, inductive, um, the trans, the in, the windings. So you have the winding for your, um, and uh, A, winding and B. You have uh, C also has the taps. Um, this would be a center tap. Uh huh. Okay. Um, how does the transformer work? Up to this point, the physical chapter of the present with the basic of the transformer, including the transformer, and the transformer, physical characters have the transformer's construction. Now you have the necessary knowledge to proceed with the theory of operation of the transformer. No load condition. You've learned the transformer is capable of supplying voltage usually higher than lower than the source of the voltage. The accomplished for the mutual induction, which takes place with the change of the magnetic field proper and produced by the primary voltage covered in the secondary winding. No load condition said to exhibit the voltage applied primary to primary. No load is connected to the secondary. Illustrated in figure 5 8, but because of the open switch, there is no current flowing in the secondary. Air winding. Um, with the switch open, the AC voltage applied with the power of this is, however, the very small amount of current for the exciting current flow for the primary. Essentially, what the exciting current does is excite the cool 
Uh, excite the coil primarily to create the magnetic field. The amount of the exciting current is determined in the three factors. The amount of voltage applied, um, or volt e, e, um, um, letter symbol A, 2, A, the 2, the resistance on ohms with a primary coil wire core loss, and also the, um, 3, the inductance, um, the in, Inductive reactions with a dependent on the frequency of the exciting current. The last two factors are controlled with the transformer design. So you have your voltage and resistance and ohms on, on the load. Um, or the very small amount of the exciting current serve the two function most exciting energy you have to maintain the magnetic field with the primary small amount of the energy you have to overcome the presence of wire courses and core losses which dissipate from the heat of the power loss exciting current will flow for the primary winding all times maintain magnetic field but no transform um, transfer energy will have taken place as long as secondary circuit is open and this is the infinity sign so um Producing a counter EMF, an alternating current flow for the primary winding of the magnetic field that's established around the winding line to flux expand outward. Um, relative motion is present with the counter EMF is induced with the winding. Same counter EMF as you've learned with the chapters of the, on the inductor flux and leave the primary north pole and enter the primary to, at the south pole. Um, the counter EMF is inductive with the primary polarity up over the applied voltage of the opposing flow over the current primary. The counter EMF that limits the sighting current is very low value. Inducing the voltage in secondary visually with how the voltage is induced in the secondary winding of the transformer again refer to the figure five the exciting current flow for the primary magnetic line with the solar force of the generator during the time of the um, current with the increase of the primary magnetic line with the force expanding outward from the primary core of the cut cylinder secondary with the remember the voltage is induced with the coil with the magnetic lines cut with the across therefore voltage across the primary causes voltage to be induced across secondary primary and secondary relationship. Um, secondary, primary and secondary phase relationship. The secondary voltage of the assembly transformer may either be in phase or a phase, in phase or out of phase with the primary voltage. It depends on the direction with the lines or wound arrangement of the connection with the electrical circuit load. Simply, this means two voltages may rise and fall together. One may rise where the other is falling. The transformer secondary voltage in phase with the primary referred to as like wound transformers. While it, while those in the voltage of 180 degrees are found um, out of phase are called unlike wound transformers. Dots used to indicate the point where the transformer schematic is symbol with having the same instantaneous polar points um, in that they're in phase. Uh, these phases indicate the dots illustrated in figure 5, 9, in part of the A, the figure bowl for the primary and secondary winds are wound on top of them to close the direction view with above the windings that construct with the main of the top lead with the primary top lead with the secondary and the same polarity, inducing the dots with the transformer symbol lacking the facing the dots indicates reversal polarity. All right, figure 5, 9 shows the instantaneous power to put, um, dependent on the direction of winding. Notice that these are iron core shows um, this is uh, negative negative down top, um, uh, you know, and then you have positive in the, the op and B. Part B um, figures illustrate the pilot and foreign transformer primary, secondary, and winding opposite direction is viewed. Above the windings, primary is wound with the clockwise direction from the top of the bottom, the secondary bound is um, clockwise direction. Note that the top of the lead for the primary and secondary have the opposite polarities. Um, Indicating the dots being played for the opposite end of the transformer polarity. Um, the polarity of the voltages at the terminals for secondary transformer depend on the directly and with the secondary is wound with, with respect to the primary. Coefficients of coupling. All right, the coefficients of coupling with the transformer is dependent on the portion of the total flux for the own um, line between the pole the secondary windings. And ideally, flux lines generated with the primary shut off the cut secondary. All lines with the flux generated with the secondary should cut off the primary. Coefficient of coupling when you um, when they when they may be one unity. Maximum energy would be transformed from the primary secondary practical power of the transformer. High permeable silicone store, steel cords and closing spaces between windings to provide high efficient coupling. Right, your lines of flux generated by one winding woo do not link with the other winding are called leakage flux. Um, since leakage flux generated with the primary does not cut with the secondary and cannot be induced in voltage into the secondary, the voltage induced in the secondary, therefore, less of it would be, um, be like leakage found that does not exist. Since the effect of leakage um, flux is lower voltage in, in, in duct, induced into the secondary, the effect of the duplicated is assuming the inductor to be conducted within a series of the primary. The series of leak induction is assumed the dropout with applied voltage, leaving the less voltage across the primary. The primary Bolt across the primary. 
or it turns in voltage, it turns in voltage ratio. The total voltage in the due for the secondary winding of the transformer is determined mainly by the ratio of the number of the turns primary over the number of the turns in the secondary. The amount of the voltage applied to the primary. Refer to Figure Five Ten A for the part shown of the transformer, whose primary consists of the ten turns of wire, whose secondary consists of a single turn of wire. You know, um, you know that the line of the flux generator with the primary expand with the collapse, but both can, um, the, but they they can both then ten turns of the primary single turn of the secondary, since the length of the wire and secondary is approximately the same length of the, of the wire. Each turn primary the uh, the electric motive force induced into the secondary will be the same as the EMF induced in the each turn of the primary. This means that the voltage applied by the primary winding is 10 volt, but the counter EMF of the primary is almost almost 10 volts. Thus, each term of the primary volt will, um, primary will have the inductor counter EMF approximately one tenth or totally applied voltage one volt. Since the um, flux and lines cut in the turns in both secondary and primary, each of the turn having an EMF of one volt induced in it. The transformer part A, figure 510A, the only one that has only one turn in the secondary. Thus, the EMF has the secondary one volt. All right. 10 volt, 1 volt, um, double loop around it, 10 volt, 2 volt. All right, transformers represent in part, um, figure, in part B, um, figure 10, uh, has a t 10 turn primary, 10, 2 turn secondary. This flux and the, and the induced the 1 volt per, the total voltage across the secondary is 2 volts. Note that the volts per turn are the same with the volt on um, primary and secondary winding of the counter over the EMF of this equally almost on the live with the proportion of the maybe seven of the shreff of the voltage across the induced for the terms of the voltage applied with the primary number of the turns in each winding. This portion is also shown with the relationship between the primary number of the turns in each winding, the voltage across the winding, the portion expressed in each equation. Um, so far, you have um, the voltage induced in the secondary over the um, voltage in applied to the primary is equal to the number of turns in the primary over the number of turns in the uh, secondary. Voltage over the single primary, second and secondary over the voltage primary over the number of turns in the secondary over the number of turns in the primary. Note the equation shows the ratio of the sec um, secondary voltage with the primary um, so ratio of the secondary voltage to primary voltage equal ratio of secondary turns of the primary. The equation is written as uh, voltage in the primary times the number of uh, turns in the secondary is equal to the uh, voltage in the secondary um, by the number of turns in the primary. The following formula is divided in these equations. Transposing the voltage secondary is the voltage secondary is equal to the vol voltage primary, the number of turns in the secondary over the number of terms in the primary. Transposing the voltage in the um, in the primary, the voltage in the primary is equal to the voltage in the secondary, the number of the um, number of turns in the primary, number of um, turns over the number of turns in the secondary. If these equations are above the formulas, know that through the quantity of the calculated example, the transformer has 200 turns in, primary, in the primary and the number of 50 turns in the secondary. The 120 volts applied with the primary and the voltage across the secondary is 100. Um, is, uh, so the number of turns in the primary is um, 200. The number of turns in the secondary is 50. The number of turns in the, uh, is, in the primary is 120. So you'd have... 120 volts times 50 turns over 200 turns in the prim oh, over the uh, voltage in the primary gives you 330 volts in the um, secondary. Example of the 400 turn wire of the iron core of this coil that is to be used for the primary for use for the tri transformer. However, the many turns that may have to be wound into the coil that form the, tr the tr secondary wire and transformer secondary voltage 1 volts, primary volts, and 5 volts. Given the number of turns in the primary is 400 turns, the in, in the, in the um, volts in the primary is 5 turns, then the volts in the secondary is 1 volt, the number of turns would be. Um, Number of turns in the secondary for the over the oh, is equal to the number of turns and uh, number of the volts in the secondary versus number of turns in the primary over the volts number of the turn volts is in the primary. So you have one volt over one times four hundred turns gives you five over five volts equals eighty turns in the number of secondary. Note the ratio of the voltage is five to one equal to um equal to the turns um turns in ratio forty eighty. Sometimes instead of the specific um, specific value of the given the turns of voltage radio, in this case you may assume that any of the voltage one of the voltage of the turns compute with the other value of the from the ratio. For example, if the turn ratio is given in the six to one, you can assume that the number of the turns primary compute with the secondary number of the turns um sixty to ten, thirty, sixty six, thirty to fifty five. Um, th sorry, 30 to 5. Um, the transformer, each of the above the tra problems have the two-term secondary then in the primary as a result of the less voltage across the secondary the cross of the primary transformer in which the voltage across the secondary is less than the voltage across the primary is called the step-down. 
transformer. The ratio um, four to one step down. The transformer is written in four to one. The transformer has the um, fewer turns with the primary than in the secondary will produce the greater voltage across the secondary voltage applied with the primary. The transformer in which the voltage across the secondary is greater than the voltage across applied in the um, primary. Um, it's called a step up transformer. The ratio of one four one to four setup of the transformer is written one to four. Um, notice that in the two ratios, the value of the primary winding is always stated first. All right, your effective load. Um, when the load device is connected with across the secondary winding um, over the transformer, the current flow from the secondary to the and the load. The magnetic field produced for the current secondary interacts with the magnetic field produced for the current in the primary. Um, the interac interaction resolves the mutual inductancy um, between the primary and secondary windings. Mutual flux. The total flux of the core transformer common to both primary and secondary windings also means that which energy transformed with the primary winding and secondary windings such as the flux links of the both windings are called the mutual flux. The inductance which produces the flux also common in both windings called the mutual inductance. Figure 511 shows the flux produced for the current primary and secondary winding of the transformer when certain of the current is flowing from the primary in the primary winding. You have a voltage and... Um, the total voltage in the circuit 300 um, volts and your primary flux tw is 21 so you'd have a step down um, to the secondary flux in your load and your resistance and um, between the positive and negative um, simple transformer indicating the primary secondary window um, window winding flux relationship when the load resistance connected to the secondary winding the voltage induced for the secondary winding cover the current to flow with the secondary winding the current produced in the flux field with about with the secondary about um, show the broken line with the opposition of the flux field with about about the primary lens law. Um, thus, the flux about with the secondary center cancels some of the flux about with the primary with the law of the fl um, flux surrounding the primary. The counter EMF that's reduced the more current is drawn from the source. The additional current of the primary generates more flux line of, lines of flux, nearly reestablishing the original number of total flux lines. All right, turns and current ratios. Um, number of flux lines developed in accord with the potential pro 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 proportional of the magnet um, in the magnet force in amplitude term of the primary and secondary winding with the amplitude turns is the amps over the number of turns is measured with the magnetic force is defined with the magnet magno motive um, force developed in one amp of the current um, flowing in the coil for the one term of the, um, the flux is which exists um, in the core of the number of the transformers surrounds both the primary and secondary windings since the flux is the same with the both windings the amplitude terms the primary and the secondary windings must be the same Therefore, your um, ampers, uh, ampers, my, ampers um, minus the turns in primary winding uh, um, equal the ampers and the turns in the no number in the secondary winding. Both dividing both the sides of the of the ampers uh, ampers uh, the ampers um, primary versus the numbers in the secondary. You'd have the numbers of primary over the numbers of secondary is equal to the ampers over the secondary over the ampers of the primary. Since the voltage of the secondary uh, secondary over the voltage of primary is equal to the number of turns of secondary over the numbers of primary, then you'd have a uh, Voltage in the primary is over the over the is over the voltage in the secondary is equal to the number of the turns on the primary over the number of the turns in the secondary and I end you the last you'd have the in, um, voltage in the primary over the voltage in the secondary is equal to the amps in the secondary over the amps of the primary. All right, so where EP voltage is, uh, EP is the voltage applied with the primary in volts, and uh, ES voltage across the secondary in volts, and also I, IP current the amperes the current in primary in the amperes, amperes in the secondary in the amperes. Note that this equation shows the current ratio is inverse of the turns for, um, per ratio of the voltage ratio. That means the transformer having less than turns in the secondary, the primary one would step down. Voltage would be the um, step up of the current. Example, the transformer is 6 to 1 voltage on um, the fine with the current and the secondary with the current with the primary of 200 milliamperes. All right, you have 600 volt, 6 volts assumed. Um, your any primary 1 volt and your secondary show that the 200 milliamperes is um, in, in your... Um, In your prime in voltage primary, what is your secondary? So we take uh, would be a six of that. The substitution would be uh, zero point two. It was zero point two times six would be one point two amperes. Um, the above example is a point out through the voltage across the secondary one sixth of the voltage of the across of the primary current of the secondary second time um, six times of the current of the primary. 
The bubble equations can be looked at at former another point of view for this expression. The number of point primary and over the number of secondary. Also, they is called the transformer term ratios may be expressed in a single factor. Remember the terms in the ratio indicate the amount over the which of the transformer increase the degrees as applies to the primary. For the example, the secondary of the transformer has two times the many terms as the primary. Thus, the voltage can do for the secondary will be two times the voltage across the primary. The secondary has one half the many terms of the primary. The voltage across the secondary will be one half the voltage across the primary. However, the terms over the ratio current ratio of the transformer has have inversely relationship, thus the one to two step up transformer will have one uh, one half the current of the secondary primary as two to one step down transformer will have twice the current of the secondary of the primary. All right, example, the transformer with the transform trans terms the ratio of one to 12 has three amps in the um, current in the secondary, um, which is the value of the current. So we'd have three times 12 would be um, Three times twelve would be thirty-six amps. Um, easy question. Um, power relationship between pi primary and secondary wet windings. It was just to play with the terms of the transformer effect of the current of the wet well is the voltage. A voltage is double the secondary current is half. The, uh, uh, if the voltage is double, then the secondary current is half uh, halved in the secondary. Conversely, the voltage is halved in the secondary current is doubled in the secondary. In this manner, the power is delivered to the primary source of the delivered by to the load of the secondary remains for the wear of the power is consumed by the transformer with the forms of looses, the form of losses. Refer again to the transformer illustrated in figure 511. The turns on the ratio are 20 to 1. Input in primary is 0.1 amperes at 300 volts. The power of the primary would be P is equal, the power is equal to the amp, voltage times the amps is 300 watts. Um, sorry, 30 watts. If the transformer has no loss in 30 watts, it's delivered to the secondary. Secondary, the second step down of the voltage 15 volts is a step up to the current of the two amperes. Thus, the power delivered to the load by the secondary is the power is equal to the voltage times the amps is 15 volts times um, two um, amps would be 30 watts. All right. Um, the reason this reason. It, for this is when the number of the turns in secondary decrease with the operation of the flow of the current is decreased, they hence the um, current, more, more current of the flow of the secondary term for the ratio of the transformer is increased one to two. But the number of the turns secondary twice the number of the turns of the primary. This means the opposition current is double the voltage is double than both. But the currents have due to increase the opposition current of the secondary. The important thing to remember is that the exemption of the power is consumed within the transformer. All power is delivered to the primary by the source will be delivered to the load. The form of the power may change, but the power in the secondary must also equal the prime, um, power in the primary. So your primary power in the secondary is equal to the power in the primary times um, minus the power lost in the transformer. All right, transformer losses. Particular power transformer, although highly efficient, are not um, perfect devices. Small power transformers, electrical equipment, have 80 to 90 percent effective range efficiency range, while large commercial power line trans power line transformers have an efficiency of 98 percent. The total power loss of the transformer combination of the three, ty um, three types of the losses. One loss is due to the, the re DC resistance primary and secondary winding. This is called the copper loss and the amperage over the resistance loss. This is two other is due to the eddy current and the hysteria in the core of the transformer. The copper loss uh, and the eddy current loss and the hysteria loss is the um, undes undesirable conversion of the electrical energy into heat energy. Or your copper loss. Whenever the current flow of the conductor power is dissipated with the resistance of the conductor over the form, the heat of the amount of power dissipated with the conductor is directly proportional to the resistance over the wire square over the current through it. The greater the value of the either resistance over the current greater than the power dissipated with the primary and secondary windings over the transformer is usually made of low resistant copper wire. The resistance given in the winding with the function of the diameter over the wire's length of the copper loss can be magnetized minimized with the use of the proper diameter. Um, large diameter wire will require with a high current winding such as small diameter wire can be used in low current windings. Um, eddy current loss. To the core of the transformer, you've constructed some of the type of um, ferro fer fer ferromagnetic material because of these good inductive magnetic lines of force um, flux. When the primary ion core transformer is energized out of the alternating core source of the fluctuating magnetic flux is produced with the magnetic flux and cut the conducting core material into induces the voltage into the induced voltage cause the random currents to flow through the core and will dissipate with the power form of heat. The undesirable currents of the eddy current are, are called eddy currents. The minimized loss of the resulting eddy currents and the transformer are laminated. Since they are insulated laminated, do not provide easy paint of the current eddy current loss is greater redu re reduced. All right, hysteria loss. The magnetic field of the path of the, the, through a core with the core material it becomes magnetized. It becomes magnetized in the domains where the core of the muscle line with themselves with the external field in the direction of the field is generated. 
to revert the new direction of the field to revert the domains must turn with their poles aligned with the new direction of the external field. The power transformer and normally operates 60 hertz, 400 hertz alternating current. Each tiny domain must rely and real, realign with itself during the, each cycle the, um, at a total of 120 times a second with a 60 hertz alternating circuit current in the cycle. U. The energized U of the two, um, turn each of the domain is dissipated with the heat with the iron core. This it loss is called historious hysteria, hysterious loss can be throughout the resulting in molecular friction. Historic loss can be also held in small value proper choice of the core materials. Our transformers efficiency. The compute efficient transformer input for the power with the output power and the transformer must be known. If the input power is equal to the produce, um, product of the voltage applied for the primary and the current in the primary, the output power is equal to the product of the voltage across the secondary and the current in the secondary. The difference between the input and the output um is the represent of the power law. You can calculate the um, percentage efficiency with the transformer by using the standard efficiency formula as in efficiency in percentage is equal to the power output over the power input times 100. Where um, P out is the total output power delivered to the load. Power input um, is P in total input power. Example of the input power with the transformer is 650 watts. Output power is 610. Um, so you'd have 610 over 650, 93.8 from effic power efficiency. Transformer ratings. Uh, all right, the transformer is to be used in the circuit with more than just one. Um, the turns of ratio must be um, considered. The voltage current of the power handling capability of the primary and secondary windings must also be considered. The maximum voltage that can be safely applied to any of the windings to determine the type of the thickness of the insulation. When better or thicker insulation is used between the windings, the higher maximum voltage can be applied with the windings. The maximum current that can be carried with the transformer winding is determined by the diameter of the wire used in the wiring. If the, current, if the current is excessive winding, the higher the ordinary amount of the power will be dissipated winding for the warm of the heat. The heat may be sufficient high cause, the higher to cover the insulation around the wire to break down. It happen the transformer more be permanently damaged. Power handling capacity for the transformer is dependent upon the ability to dissipate the heat. But the heat can um, can safely be removed. The power handling capacity for the transformer can be re -incre increased. Thus, sometimes accomplished immersing the transformer in oil by the use of the coiling fins. The power handling capacity for the transformer is remember the either voltage um, ampere unit or voltage or watt unit. The two common power generated frequency, 60 hertz and 400 hertz, have been mentioned, but the effect of the frequency has been not discovered. The frequency applied by the transformer is increased with the inductive rea reactancy of the winding increase, to, um, causing the greater AC voltage to drop across the windings, lesser voltage to drop across the load. However, the increase of the frequency applied by the transformer should not damage the frequency applied by the transformer to creep the reactance through the winding to creep the current through the transformer winding and creep the if the increase in the frequency and enough of the resulting increase of the current will damage the transformer. For this reason, the transformer must be used in frequency above its normal operating frequency but not below the frequency. All right, type of application of the transformer. The transformer has many useful applications in electrical circuit. The brief description of some of these applications will help you recognize the importance of transformer electrical electricity and electronics. Our power transformer. Power transformers use the supply of voltage very circuit with electrical equipment. These transformers have two or more windings wound with laminated iron core, the number of the windings, and um, the terms wind per winding depending upon the voltage of the transformer to supply with the coefficient coupling of a 95, um, 0 0.95 or more. You can usually distinguish between the high voltage and low voltage windings and power of the transformer measuring the resistant low voltage winding. We usually carry with a high current with a zero four large diameter wiring. Um, this means that the resistance is less than the resistance of the higher voltage winding. We normally carry the lot less of the current, therefore, by constructing the smaller diameter wire. So, um, so far, you have learned that about what the transformers have the one secondary winding. The typical power of the transformer is several secondary winding, each providing different voltage schematics. Um, the typical power transformer shown in Figure 512 with the given the voltage of the car of the primary with the voltage across the secondary winding. And to determine the number of the turns each secondary, the pump winding with the center tab of the um, like, uh, like secondary 350 volt winding was shown, with the, uh, shown in the figure. To a center tab of winding, we connect the wire with the center of the coil so that, that between the center of the tab, even the terminal winding with appears one half of the voltage developed in the across the entire winding or most of the power transformer have color leads that easily distinguish between the various windings to which they are connected. Carefully examine the figure which I'll illustrate the color code of the typical power transformer. Usually red indicates the high voltage leads, but it is possible for the manufacturer to use some other colors. Alright, so your schematic diagram, the typical power, for power transformer, black would be 110 volts, your yellow and red strip would be the center tap at 700 volts of 350 volts and 300 volts in between the primary and secondary windings. Um, notice that it's doubled itself, and this one is 63-point um, volts of the divider, yellow and green, and black and red. Um, 
There are many types of power transformer. The range side of the huge transformer with weighing the several tons in the power substation. The commercial power can bump these the very small ones weighing at least a few ounces of the, uh, using electrical equipment. All right, all the transformers. It's necessary for the, it is not necessary for the transformer for the primary and secondary to be separate and distinct wiring with a schematic diagram that is known by the auto transformer. Note that the single coil of the wiretap is produced for the electrical primary and secondary wiring. Voltage across the secondary wiring of the same relation of the voltage across the primary would have the two distinct wiring with the foldable tap of the secondary used to select the value of the output voltage, either higher or lower than the um, voltage power. Or sorry, the voltage primary when the ranging of the transformer. That is in the tap that the am amps is equal to um, the amplitude. The amps is equal to the voltage of the point. Sorry, it's point A. It's equal to the voltage of secondary left in the voltage primary. Um, um, when the um, when the tap is in, in the point B, the voltage secondary is greater than the voltage primary. All right, um, movable tap. That means there's um, this is adjustable between uh, there. It's an iron core with a center piece of the winding, and the iron core is moved in between the center, or adjusting the voltage of the um, as an all transformer. Um, adjust the frequency. All right, audio frequencies. Audio frequencies. AF transformers are used as all circuit with a coupling device. The auto frequency transformer is designed to operate the frequency and auto frequency spectrum. Generally, consider that it's 15 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is a primary and secondary winding wind with laminated iron steel core. Because of the transformer, so the high frequency of the power transformer, the special grade with the steel and silicone steel, special alloys for the iron have the low hysteria loss. Must be used with the core material. The transformers usually have the great number of the turns in the secondary with the primary common step up ratio of the one to two or one to four. With the audio transformer with the impedance for the primary and secondary winding is important the ratio of the turns the instant for the transformer select for the head should have impedance matched with the circuit which is connected radio frequency transformers radio frequency transformers or rf um Transformers used with a couple circuit with which the frequency of 20,000 hertz are applied to the winding or wound with a tube of a non-metallic material have a special powdered iron core containing only air as the core material standard broadcast radios receiver. They operate in frequency range of 530 kilohertz to 1550 kilohertz. In a short wave receiver, the um, radio frequency transformer are subject to the frequencies about 20, milli me 20 megahertz, milli me megahertz uh, megahertz and radar above 20 mega 200 megahertz impedancy matching transformers the maximum output transformer power between the two circuits is necessary the impedancy with the one of uh, one circuit that meets uh, match for the other circuit one common impedancy match devising the transformer to obtain the proper matching you must uh, use the transformer having the current turn ratio over the number of the turns primary secondary winding impedance for the transfer of the following mathematic relationships all right um the Number of primary number of terms in the primary over the number of terms in the secondary is equal to the square root of the impedance in the primary over the impedance in the secondary. Because of the disability matching impedance, the impedance matching the transformers while they use electronic 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 equipment. Safety effects of the current of the, on the body. Um, before you learn safety caution, um, learn the safety precautions. You should look at some of the, um, some of the most possible effects of electrical current of the, on the human body. The following table lists some of the probable effects of electrical current on the human body. All right, zero to one AC or zero to four, um, zero to one millihertz perception, um, surprise, reflex action, muscular inhib inhibition, re respiratory failure, and also um, usually fatal. I believe that's in uh, milliamps. So um, zero to one perception milliamps. You know, out of one amp or one um, AC or over three hundred, uh, usually fatal. No, in the above chart with the current is low is one four milliamps can be expected to um, cause the reflex action of the victim and they usually cause the victim to jump the wave from the wire or other components supplying with the current while the current should produce nothing more than a tingle to stand to the skin, the quick action of trying to get away from the source of the irritation can produce the effect of those broken limbs or even the death of the infant in series and the up blow would receive the vital spot with the shock of the victim. 
It is important to recognize the resistance the human body can be relied upon the preventing the fatal shock with the voltage is low. The 115 volts that even unless the fatals co- fatalities caused by human contact with 30 volts can be reco- have been recorded. Tests have shown that the body resistance un- under unfavorable conditions may be as low as 300 ohms, possible as low as 100 ohms from temple to temple. If the skin is broken, general objection is considered as dangerous as an equal to value with the alternating current. The evidence of the fact with a resi- reasonable flow the save let go of the current to 60 hertz alternating current at 9 point milliampers for the men. 6 point milliampers for women, the corresponding value of the direct current with the 62 milliampers for men, 41 milliampers for women. Remember the above table list of the probable effects, the effect, uh, actual um, severity of the effects, is depending on the things of the physical condition of the worker, physical condition of resistance of the body, they are bodies of which the current flow of the base on the information must be considered every voltage being dangerous. Or right, electrical shock, electric shock, a jarring, sh- I'm shaking sensation. You receive the contact of electricity. You usually feel like you've received a sudden blow. Voltage resulting current with a sudden, sufficiently high. You may become unconscious. So severe burns may appear on your skin. Place contact muscular spasms may occur, perhaps causing you to collapse. Um, the apparatus of the wire which caused the shock unable to turn it loose. Rescue and care shock victim. Victim. The following procedure recommended with rescue with the care of the electrical shock victim. Remove the um um the vic- remove the victim from electrical contact at once, but do not endanger yourself. You can do this by throwing in the switch if it is nearby. If it's nearby, or cutting the cable wires with the apparatus with an axe or wooden handle with a head, which will handle take care of care proper pr- protect your eyes from flashing the wires it's sur- severed use a dry stick rope belt coat blanket shirt or any other non um conductor electricity to drag or push the victim to safety determine whether the victim is breathing if the victim is not breathing you must apply artificial ventilation respiration without delay even though the victim may appear that uh, lifeless do not start the artificial respiration until the medical authority pronounces the victim dead laying the victim um Face up, the feet should be 12 inches higher over the head. The clutch and the head injuries and heads should be slightly elevated. The vomiting or facial injuries have occurred, which cause bleeding in the throat. The victim should be placed on his stomach with the head turned on one side 6 to 12 inches lower than the feet. Um, keep the victim warm. The injured person body must be uh, heat must be conser- conserved. Um, keep the victim conserved with one or more blankets covered with one or more blankets. Um, depending on the weather, the person exposure with the elements, the artificial meaning of the warming, such as the hot water bottles, should not be used. The drug and food liquids should not be administered. The medical attention will be available within a short time if necessary. Liquids may be administered. Small amount of the warm salt water, tea, or coffee should be used. Alcohol, al- al- opiates, and other depressant substances must never be administered. Um, see the medical personnel of the doctor if available. Do not under uh, any circumstance and leave the victim until the medical help arrives. For complete coverage, administrative artificial respiration on the treatment of the burns and shock victim standard first aid training course Navy Trod 181 series. Safety precautions preventing electrical shock. Uh, you must observe the following safety precautions when working electrical equipment. Never work alone. Any other person may save your life if you receive electrical clock and shock. When, or an energized, when on an energized circuit, only when the absolute necessary power should be tagged out using approved tag out procedures necessary. So with electricity, stand on approved insulating materials such as rubber mat. Discharge power spe- capacity before looking, working on the de-energized equipment. Remember the capacity of electrical power storage um, device. When you must work on the energy energized circuit, wear rubber gloves to cover the, as much of the body um, practical with the insulating material, as such as the shirt sleeve. They're especially important when you're working with the warm spaces and the sweating may occur. The energy of the equipment prior to hooking up the retesting the, or removing the test equipment. With Working with only one hand inside of the equipment, keep the other hand clear of all obstacles that may provide with the path of such a ground for the current flow. Where safety goggles, sparks could damage the air eyes, explode with the cooling liquids, and some components of the transformer should be um should they overheat and explode. And also keep the cool head and cool uh, keep a cool head and think about the possible consequences before performing any action. Careless um this um has caused the most accidents. Remember, the best technician is not necessarily the fastest one, but one who will um be on the job tomorrow. Or the summary, and we'll read the summary in its own tape, and that will be um pretty much for the rest of the book.